Welcome to the SALC. We are so glad you joined us. Let's take a quick tour of the SALC to find where materials and programs are located. As you enter the SALC, the first cabinet on your right contains our DVD library. You can check DVDs out for up to three days. Above the DVD library is the box for reading challenge forms and the reading challenge leaderboard. We'll hear more about the reading challenge a little later on. If you want to check out a book or movie, you should come to the SALC desk to see Nicole, Ryan, or Aura. You will need your student ID card and an email address to check out books or videos. You should also come to the desk for printing. Walking around the desk, you'll see the books on CD on the third shelf. You can take them home for up to three days. These special books come with audio CDs so that you can listen to the book being read aloud as you follow along. Looking out into the SALC, you can see all of the computers. There are 30 laptops in the center of the room. All of the laptops have the following programs. Master Key for Typing, Connected Speech for Pronunciation, Tense Buster for Grammar, and Rosetta Stone for All Skills. The computers on the walls have different programs. You may look at posted signs to see which programs are available on that computer. Besides the computers, we also have books in the SALC. Level 1 and 2 in front, Level 3 and 4 in the back corner, and then Level 5 and 6 in the opposite corner. Continuing back towards the door, you will also see the scanner. Students are allowed to scan any documents they may need to. Directions on how to scan are located in front of the scanner. But if you still need help, you can ask at the SALC desk. Magazines and newspapers are also near the door. The SALC has a subscription to the New York Times as well as several different magazines. Many students come to the SALC to use the computers. To log on to the computer, press Control, Alt, Delete, and type the username SALC Lab, no spaces, no caps, and the password English only, no spaces, no caps. If the password does not work, please come to the desk to ask for help. After you log on to the computer, Many students choose to go to the internet. If you do, you will see the Self Access Learning Center website set as your homepage. This should be the homepage for any internet browser, Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. This is the homepage of the SALC. As you look at the homepage, you will see important announcements about things that are happening in the SALC information about printing, and reminders about English only. However, there is much more to the website. If this is your first time in the SALC, or if you have never used the website, we recommend starting with the Start Here button. Makes sense, right? Here you can see the orientation video that you are watching right now as well as link to a quiz um, about the orientation video. You may see a list of all of the programs we have in the SALC. So you can see the programs that are available on multiple computers. There's a list of all of the programs and it also tells you where those programs are located, which computers. Okay, as you can see, we have many programs. Also in the Start Here button, we have a list of the DVDs and other media that we have available. There is a list of the titles of the movies that we have. You may also search the holdings that we have at Library World. We will talk about that a little bit later. And you may also view the list of books we have available at the SALC, also alphabetical. Okay. And that's the Start Here button. 
Next, About Us is some general information about the SALC. You can find the calendar of events, which tells you the dates that the SALC will be closed, or dates of important events in the SALC. You can see pictures and information about the staff, the people who work at the SALC. You can see where we are located. Okay, Of course, you're already here, so you know where we are. You can also take a look at the interactive site map. The interactive site map is broken down into two parts, the left side and right side of the SALC. When you click the link, it will take you to a picture of the SALC, and if you mouse over a computer, it will give you information about which programs are available on that specific computer. So if you want to know what's on the computer that you're sitting at, this is a very good resource to find some extra practice. We have some photos of the SALC, students working in the SALC. So keep checking there and you might see a picture of yourself. And we have information about the SALC All-Stars. Uh, we have information about past winners, students who have been All-Stars in the past, um, as well as pictures and information about the events that we have, parties for those students who participate. Uh, we have the IEPs. IEP stands for Individualized Education Plan. That means it's a resource for you to use to be able to study English on your own. The first thing you should do is choose the skill area that you would like to work on. Your choices are grammar, library skills, listening, pronunciation, reading, speaking, study skills, and writing. And you can see when I mouse over these topics, another menu appears to the right with the level of the skill. This refers to your class level. So if you are in reading writing level four and you want to practice grammar for your class, you would come to grammar level four. When you click on the level, it shows you a list of all the objectives, the course outcomes, so these are the things you are studying in your class along the left hand side, and on the right it gives you a list of the resources that we have in the SALC to help you practice that skill. If the resource has a note that says CSALC desk for help, that means you might need our help to find the resource or you might need a password in order to log in. Some of the resources are on the internet and they are an active link. In order to use those resources, just click the link and you will be taken to the website that will help you practice the skill. Okay. If you like, you can also click to print the IEP. That just allows you um, one single printable page it's the exact same information, but you can print it out and keep track of when you worked on that skill and if you finished using the resource. After IEPs, we also have useful links. These are not tied directly to the objectives you practice in class. They are more general. So if you would like to practice your vocabulary or your spelling, you can just click for that particular useful link and you will see a list of websites that the SALC thinks is helpful to practice that particular skill. Again, this is the link in order to go to that site. Just click the link and you will be taken to the external site. After useful links, we have information about reading at the SALC. There are many opportunities to practice your reading. We have many books, as we've seen before. You have the list again and the ability to search. We have information about the book club. Book club meets at least one time per week. Sometimes we have more sections. If you would like to join book club, just add your name, email address, the level of your reading writing class, 
and whether you would like to join the fiction, nonfiction, or both book clubs. Fiction means stories, not real. Nonfiction is is true material. We usually study um, items that will help you get ready for college reading. And then tell us what days and times you are available to meet. Enter the CAPTCHA code and click Submit. We will contact you uh, within the second week of class to let you know when Book Club will meet. Book reviews are also available. You can listen to some audiobook reviews done by SALC staff and also by ELI students. If you're looking for a good book to read, this is a good way to find out about books other people have enjoyed. Leveled readers are all of the books we have uh, that are leveled 1 through 6. We have many resources to help you with those books. We have interactive readers, vocabulary packets, and novel guides. To see which books have these particular features, just click the list and you will see the list of resources that we have. So um, shortly here this will load and you will see these are all of the vocabulary packets that we have available. They are sorted by level. Okay, so here you can see this is level two. So if you would like to work on your vocabulary, you may look for a book that has the level two vocabulary packet. We also have a reading challenge. You saw the box for that earlier. After you read a book, you just fill out a short form. You can fill it out online, as you see here, or we have paper forms in the SALC. The student who reads the most books in one session receives a $25 gift card to Starbucks. So you can go and have some coffee if you read the most books in a session. If you checked out a book already and you would like to renew your book online, that means take it again, you may click the Renew Your Book link and fill out the form, which will send us an email and you will get two more weeks before your book needs to be returned. Teacher resources, as it looks like, are for teachers, but if you're interested to see what's there, um, there are some handouts, sites, and information. And we also have links to some tourist information on the closest destinations to Newark. So New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. So if you are traveling to those cities, you can look here for some additional information and some websites to help you plan your trip. So I said that we would go back and look at Library World. Library World is how we check things out and into the SALC. It is a new program. It is also available for you to search what we have at the SALC. So if you want to look for a book, okay, you can come to Books at the SALC and click the Library World link. When you come to Library World, just enter SALC as the library name. There is no password. Click Sign In. Now you are entered into the SALC's library and you can search the items that we have. For example, if you would like to see a documentary film, you can type documentary in the search box and click the search button and it will pull up all of the items we have that are classified as documentary. Along the side here, this little icon tells you that it is a movie. If it were a book, you would see um, a different icon. Okay, for example, this icon means there is a CD and a movie. This is, in fact, a book with a CD. Okay, so that helps you to tell what kind of resource it is. Okay, you can search uh, for a particular title if there is a book that you really want to read. For example, maybe you're looking for the book um, High Life, Low Life. Okay, and you click the search button. It will pull up the copies that we have. You can see here there's a picture of a book, so you know what it looks like. If you click the Google Preview button, it will give you a picture of the cover and show you a little bit of information about the inside of the book. So that helps to tell you what the book is going to be about before you start reading. 
pretty cool, huh? Over here, you can see if the book is available in the SALC right now. Holdings means we have one copy. Available means the copy is now in the SALC. No one else has it. You can come and check it out. It is available now. Okay. You can also sort to look for a particular subject. So let's say, for example, maybe you are interested in something about travel. Okay. You will get all of the books and other materials that we have that are related to travel or have something about travel um, in them. Okay. So hopefully this will be helpful. Um, it will allow you to see what we have and hopefully it will help you to find items that are interesting to you. And now for some rules. The SALC is English only, like the rest of the ELI. That means you should speak in English and use the computers in English. If we see you are not operating the computer in English, a message will pop up on your screen asking you to please switch your computer to be used in English. If you do not switch to English, we will lock your computer. A locked computer looks like this. You do not want to see this screen. If you are locked out of your computer two times in one day, you will be asked to leave the SALC. If you are asked to leave the SALC two times in one session, you will not be allowed to use the SALC for the rest of the session. Please remember that we are not trying to punish you. We want to help you learn English. If you are speaking your home language or you are operating the computers in your home language, it can be very distracting for other students who are really trying to speak in English and practice their English skills. Also, if you switch the computers to be operated in a different language and then you leave, we sometimes do not know how to switch them back to English and it can be very frustrating for everyone who works in the lab and also the other students who use the lab. We ask you to please be respectful of this rule. No food or drink is allowed in the lab. Water that closes with a cap is okay, but nothing else. This is for your sake. If you accidentally spill food or drink on the laptops or computers, you will have to pay to replace them. Just leave your drinks up at the front of the room and collect them when you leave. It's the easiest way to be safe. Printing is for classwork only. You must come to the front desk after you push the print button. Please only push the print button one time. If your document does not come out of the printer, it is because you didn't ask us to allow the print job. You should click print, then come to the front desk to tell us you are printing, and then collect your print job. Your paper will not print automatically. Thank you for watching the SALC orientation video. If you have any questions, you may come to the SALC to ask Nicole, Ara, or Ryan anytime the SALC is open. We would be happy to help you, and we look forward to seeing you in the SALC.